Hey, today I want to talk to you about getting your mail while you're in the Philippines. And we'll discuss how I get my mail. Hey everybody, I'm Mike. And I'm Chana. And welcome to our channel, Mike's Philippine Retirement. Now let's get to today's video. Hey everyone, today let's talk about getting your mail here in the Philippines. For the last year that I've been here, I've been getting my mail through iPostal One. I have a link down below in the description box that you can click on and it'll take you right to their website. Once you're on that website, there's all the information you need to get started. Now before I get into the digital mailbox, Dan and I have been having a lot of fun with YouTube. Uh, we've been interviewing some people and talking different subjects and having a great time sort of got away a little bit from the main reason I got on YouTube. I got on YouTube to help you guys prepare for coming to the Philippines. So in the next few weeks I'm going to be putting together a lot of videos about how I prepared to come to the Philippines. Some of these are redos. Back in the beginning I did a lot of these short videos, three or four minutes, and they weren't of good quality. You know, I was nervous. It was hard for me to do. And we only had a couple thousand uh, subscribers and only a few people watched. So I'm going to redo them, going to redo the subjects and try and do a better job explaining everything to you. So today, and this is what I think is the first thing you should do. The first thing you should do is set up a digital mailbox. Go to this iPostal One, click on the link and it'll take you right to their website. And once you're in their website, you'll see a couple videos that will explain to you what the service is and what they offer. One of the first things you have to do is pick out the plan you want and they have different prices. The prices go from $9.99 up to $39.99. I chose the cheapest plan possible. $9.99, 10 bucks a month. It does everything you're going to need digital mailbox to do for you. Once you pick a plan then you have to pick an address. You scroll down a little bit and you'll see where it says select the state. So you have to select the state. I chose New Mexico. That's where I lived. That's where I worked. That's where I played. So I picked something in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And it was a post net uh, office, a storefront in a small strip mall close to where I worked. Is they're going to give you a mailbox address. And the now, I'm saying you should be six months out when you do this. You get that mailbox address. You contact all your banks online. Change your mailing address to this virtual mail mailbox. If you guys would take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. Let me know what you use for mail service. Do you use a virtual mailbox, a digital mailbox, do you have family or friends do it for you? Now once you have your bank account set and you've told them what your new mailing address is, call them, tell them, hey my credit card is damaged, my debit card is damaged. The reason for that is you want to get a new card, hopefully with a new expiration date that's farther out. And you want to make sure that they're sending everything to your digital mailbox you want to make sure you're going to receive them there. So hopefully seven or ten days later they'll arrive at your digital mailbox. When they arrive you're going to get an email from iPostal One and it's going to say you got mail and you click on it and it'll take you to your mailbox and you'll see any and all letters that you received and you'll be able to look at that letter the front and back of it and you can see the return address so you're going to know who it came from and since you're expecting credit cards or a debit card you can schedule an appointment to go down and pick it up or you can have it forwarded to you me because I was in New Mexico and I had it close to where I worked I went down and picked them up so I was happy I got all my credit cards I got all my debit cards mailed to my digital mailbox with no problem so now I know the banks accepted the address and they wouldn't give me any problems in the future, I hope. I also was able to open Charles Schwab account 
because everybody says their ATM cards is the best one to have that they'll reimburse your ATM fees your international transaction fees and give you the best exchange rate so I applied for my Charles Schwab account checking account and investment account and I used that physical address from the digital mailbox for both my permanent address and my mailing address and both were accepted and I've had that account now for going on a year and a half and no problems now also contact Social Security and IRS let them know this is your new mailing address when I was four months out I went ahead and did a change of address form at the post office so I'd have all my mail sent to my digital mailbox now I've started to get mail more often in my box I'd click on the link in the morning you know when I got an email I could look at that letter I could say no that's junk mail or I'm not interested you know uh, and just have have them discard that letter at no cost now they'll shred the mail for you but shredding has a little bit extra cost to it when you're on the website look at all the fees make sure you understand what everything's going to cost you so I was getting my mail on a regular basis the mail that I physically wanted to have I would click on the box for pickup and I would set an appointment I'd go down there and pick it up I wouldn't have no waiting the mail would be ready for me and they hand it to me and I was on my way if I wanted it destroyed uh, discarded for free I just clicked on that and they discarded it now one important fact and I forgot about this when I was in the States but you need to file form 1583 1583 is a form from the post office that is required to be filled out and notarized and given back to iPostal one it gives them the right to receive your mail and forward the mail to you I also believe when you apply for a digital mailbox you have to show two forms of ID so don't forget to redirect your mail go to the post office and do a change of address to your digital mailbox I would say four months out you want to get all your mail start coming to your digital mailbox and the reason I use a digital mailbox over using family or friends do you really want to bother them you know you think of it as being no big deal uh, mail would go to them but if it's an important letter one day and they're busy or they're sick or they don't feel good or they overlook it this way with a digital mailbox you can look at all your own mail you can decide what's important and what's not important and if you do get an important letter you can scan it and when they scan the letter there's a fee for that I, I believe it's around two dollars and twenty five cents they'll open the letter they'll scan all the pages for you and the next business day you can go in there and you can read all the all the letters all the pages and you can also download it to your computer now that there's no fee for that part of it you can download it and once you have it on your computer you, you have two choices you can save it in your mailbox or you can discard it now I save any tax information um, W-2 forms last year Charles Schwab when they send me a statement saying how much money I lost on the stock market uh, a letter from Social Security I opened and scanned and one letter from the IRS I just have them discard everything I really don't have anything uh, shredded now you can view and manage your mail from anywhere in the country anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection any carrier can deliver mail or packages to iPostal one it doesn't have to be just the United States Post Office FedEx or UPS any delivery service will deliver there when you're on the website they have a couple articles for you to read one is what is a digital mailbox and digital mailbox a game changer read both those articles they're interesting you want to know everything you can about the services provided by your digital mailbox we'll go back over some of the services they provide you know they'll forward mail and packages to any address in the world um, if you're sending it overseas the cost is going to be higher uh, than if you're sending it in the states but there is a fee for forwarding uh, they'll have a credit card on on record there 
they use that to take out that ten dollars a month for the fee and anytime you do a, a scan they'll charge you that two and a quarter and if you authorize forwarding of your mail uh, they'll give you an estimate of the cost really they'll give you the exact cost and then you can either approve it or not approve it again we've talked about the scan and how you can download the scan after it's been done uh, they'll recycle and shred unwanted mail they'll throw it away for free or shred it for a cost also if your bank is set up for deposit by mail and you receive a check they'll deposit that check for you they'll mail that check to your bank put the information on it that you requested and have it sent to your bank for deposit now I don't know if Wells Fargo and Capital One are set up that way but I know Charles Schwab uh, you can mail a check to them for deposit into your account one nice feature was to schedule a pickup I was in the States during COVID so I could schedule a pickup time I just walked there walked in got what I needed and got out uh, it was quick easy and convenient I thought the value was good at 10 bucks a month for the service uh, the amount of addresses to choose from there's over 2500 in the US if you live up in Maine in Arizona no matter where you live you can find a location to pick as a physical address their customer support is great when I first came out here I had an issue with getting one package delivered to me and uh, I was able to send an email to customer service they contacted me by phone on my magic jack and I was able to talk to them and got the problem solved right away it, quick and easy their they, when they give you a price that's the real-time price there'll be no surprises of up charges when they tell you how much it costs to send a package to you in, here in the Philippines that's what the cost is one other thing they offer that I never use is if you're gonna have a lot of things shipped here in the Philippines they have a few addresses that you can uh, use that offer uh, big discounts on overseas shipping so if you're going to be shipping a lot of packages over here, you maybe you're in a small business here, uh, you might want to look into that aspect of it. But since Amazon has free delivery on a lot of items or small charge for delivery, anything I need I buy through Amazon. Now today we talked about the mailbox. I think it's the number one thing to set up. I think you need it. Um, I, Family and friends is always a great idea, you know, when you're sitting around having a beer, yeah, no problem. But really, how many times have you made a commitment to somebody and a few months down the line you have to do it and you're saying to yourself, man, I wish I didn't commit to that. Don't put your family and friends in a position that they're busy or they have problems in their life. It's so convenient for me. I wake up in the morning, five in the morning. I plop on, uh, check out my email, and if I see an email from them, I know I got mail. I click on that, check it out, take care of it, either throw it away or, or scan it. The only thing they do that I don't like is they charge you a dollar if your mail's there over 30 days. Now, they do send you a three-day notice that in three days, your, your 30 days is going to be up and you're going to get a dollar charge. So keep your mailbox clean. Get the mail out of there. If it's junk, have it thrown away. If it's something you scanned and downloaded, then have it discarded out of your mailbox. Uh, but other than that, it's a great service. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave it down below in the comment section. Check me out on my Facebook or send me an email. I'll gladly answer a question or two about mail service. Thanks for watching. Until next time.